Silver on a one-way trip to $44 per ounce. Are you wondering why? In this video, I'll tell you the reason why. Today, we are up over $1 per ounce in the silver market. It's October 18th, 2024, about noon central. We've got the micro reason why today, but we're going to look at the big picture reasons why we also are heading towards $44 silver. Before we do that, we have some very important business to take care of. Yes, you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of this community. You basement dweller, you, you silver and gold lover, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up and super chat. Super thanks are always super appreciated. But why today do we have silver up a dollar per ounce? Let's look at the chart first and then we'll dig into what the big reason for today's move is and why we can be even more optimistic about the future. Look at this, guys. We are at $32.99, up $1.21 on the December Silver Futures contract. Let's do our favorite little thing, pull out the old uh, crayons and review that, yes, this is about $30 per ounce. We've been fighting at that level for a while. If we close at $33, I can't believe I'm saying that, per ounce today, I think on a weekly basis, we can officially say that we've broken above that massive resistance, which up to now has existed at the $31, $32, even $32.50 range. But why? I promised you. I would explain why today is silver exploding. It all has to do with China today. We get this news story from CNBC, but it's big news all around the world. China reports third quarter gross domestic product growth of 4.6%, slightly beating expectations. China came out with better than expected economic data. It wasn't just that. It was retail sales looking good industrial production looking good. And unfortunately, or the reality of the world we live in right now with silver is the silver price reacts very sensitively to Chinese economic data. The reason why is that people think that if China's economy continues to grow, they will demand more and more silver, primarily for industrial uses. But, but on top of that, Let's not forget something very important that we learned last week from our friends at Citibank. Chinese citizens are starting to buy silver as an investment as well. And that was pointed out by Citibank when they were talking about a prediction for, I think, $40 silver for 2025. So today's move, right? it wasn't you buying silver on Pimbex. No, it all had to do with this news out of China. But we have some big picture news to talk about as well. But let's take this chance to say thank you to channel sponsor Pembex. Boy, we love to see this. We're going to get an update here. Wow, silver up $1.15 per ounce as I'm recording this at about noon on October 18th, 2024. Thank you to Pembex for sponsoring Ron's Basement. Guys, this is an online bullion dealer, a company that I've worked with for over a year not just sponsoring the channel. I actually bought silver from this company several times before they sponsored the channel. I had a great experience when we talked about doing a sponsorship. It felt so right because I believed in the company because I knew when I bought silver from Pimbex that I was getting ultra competitive pricing, great selection, but what's a big paramount uh, fact that you need to have in, in your in your uh, pocket as well when you're buying bullion online, that it's a company that you can trust. I think they check all the boxes and it's not just silver. They have gold and uh, platinum group metals available as well. Thank you, Pimbex, for sponsoring Ron's Basement. Now, we talked about the reason why silver's exploding today. What about the big picture reasons? Let's cover some of those here as well, because nothing has changed. Remember, put on your party hats, guys. We talked about when silver can close above $32, $33 per ounce, there is very little overhead resistance at that level. What does that mean? Let me give you an example. Low overhead resistance. Sounds so technical. Well, what it really means is there are no people or very few and far between 
people that are waiting to sell silver at 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 dollars. That means less supply coming onto the market. And as we hit what I think is new record territory for all intents and purposes for silver, we could have a flood of new people. Not just the Costco dads, right? A flood of new people saying, I better get on, I better get silver before it's too late. People buy silver, right? When it gets more expensive, it's crazy, right? Hopefully you're not that way. But the reality is the vast majority of people will buy more and more and more silver as the price goes higher and higher and higher, right? They don't buy it when it's on sale. Rick Rule says that all the time. It's like going to the grocery store and tuna fish is on sale for 50% off. You'll buy extra tuna fish. When silver's on sale, nobody wants it. Maybe that's when you were buying. I hope that's the case. If you are going to buy some silver or gold for that matter, always make prudent you know, dollar cost average type purchases. Although I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not giving financial advice. We could see a big wave of people coming in. FOMO, fear of missing out. We've got the 45-year cup and handle in silver. We've co covered that exhaustively. If you don't know what that is, Google cup and handle, Google cup and handle silver, and you're going to get a big silver smile. I think I'll get some silver teeth implants here. I'm so pumped up about silver. A 45-year cup and handle. The cup and handle is the most reliable, powerful chart pattern in the history of the universe. In the longer period of time over which the cup and handle develops, the more reliable, the more powerful that the chart pattern is. And 45 years, well, that's just about as long of a cup and handle. That's the biggest cup. That could, that could handle, that could hold all the Maxwell House coffee that we could brew in the entire world. And we're going to need it because we're so pumped up about this silver price. We got new stackers. Western buyers are just now starting to come in. The BRICS situation and their emphasis on de-dollarization and backing, right? Doing trade with, with, a, with a currency, with real, real things like gold and silver, everything. China, India. My Lord, there's so much going on with silver. We talked about China. India? Oh, they've only imported like 25% of the world's production, entire world's production of silver over the last year. It's really crazy, guys, what's happening right now in the silver market. When everybody said a year ago, six months ago, that silver is the most undervalued asset in the world, guess what? They weren't joking. And now, possibly, we're seeing it all come to fruition. Look, anything could happen. I could be sitting here next week, and I would be very depressed saying, hey, silver's back to $27. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're in the clear. I think we're in for some very good times. Don't forget also when we talk about silver, we've been having a deficit for the last, what, four or five years. The world is consuming hundreds of millions of ounces more silver than it produces. Two things we know for sure, that above ground surplus or silver slush fund, as we like to call it, is a finite level, is a fixed amount, right? You can't print more silver. So that silver that they're pulling out of that slush fund, eventually, the second thing we know, has to run out if this deficit continues. And when we look at the demand profile for silver, you can't see it not continuing, okay? Mexico, the biggest silver producer in the world, right? Their production is going down the tubes politically in that country. There's a big, strong movement to like prohibit your ability to build and mine for silver. That's the biggest supplier in the world, okay? The dollar is toast. <laughs> We could talk about that forever. We got so much debt in this country. They're increasing the M2 money supply. We know that the dollar to silver ratio, when measured by the M2 money supply, is exploding. It's up to like 740, 30, whatever it is. New paper M2 money supply dollars, 700, over 700 being created for each one ounce of silver that's mined every year. And we've got a geopolitical environment where people don't trust each other. And when people don't trust each other, guess what? They don't trust their currencies that are based all on trust because that's what fiat currencies are, just all based on confidence and trust. What do they trust? You got it. They trust things like silver and gold. It's going to be a wild ride. I'm glad that we get to go on this together. I'll look forward to seeing you again here in the basement. Thanks to channel sponsor Pimbex, also 
First mining gold, you want gold in the ground in Canada? First mining gold is a Canadian gold developer with two multi-million ounce projects in Canada, gold in the ground in Canada and Fortuna Mining. They're a producing gold and silver mining company. Latin America, they produce silver and gold. West Africa, they're producing a lot of gold. You can learn more about all the sponsoring companies at their respective websites, to which there will be a link in the description of this video. Most important, thank you for being here. I'm going to look forward to seeing you next time.